Hi friends, it's me, Laura, and I'm so excited to welcome you to Basecamp today. Parents, it's our mission to support you in reaching your child's heart for Christ. We hope your time in Basecamp sparks great conversations together throughout the whole week. All month long, we've been talking about how we can trust God. We can trust that God loves us because He sent us Jesus. We can trust that God has a plan for us and His plans are always good. And this week, we'll hear a true story from the Bible about someone who trusted God even when it was hard and scary. But before we head to see Ollie the Owl and our clubhouse friends for our story, we get to do one of my favorite things, worship God together. So let's sing and dance and praise our amazing God. A one, two. sing along with all you got. Here we go. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. Sing it again. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. Number one, so I jump up and down. 
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder Phone out of jars so I can play my own music. Listen to this. Cool, huh? But I can't play a song with just one note. So check this out. Now let's give it a try. Oh, I almost forgot. How fun is this? The color really doesn't do anything. It just looks cool. Now let's play. It's a glass jar xylophone. La, 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 la. This is so fun. This jar plays a really high note. And this jar plays a really low note. And these jars play the notes in between. Hoo, hoo. Hey, it's Ollie! Hello, Manny. Ho, ho! Playing water jars, are you? Hi, Ollie. I made my own xylophone out of jars, and it's so much fun! Those jars are fun. It's true. I know a whole story about jars, too. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Ho, ho! Follow me through. Follow me through hell I've got a Bible story for me and you Pepe, come on Pepe You can do it oh, There you go <laughs> See, it wasn't so scary Here's your food Oh Pepe Oh, Hey friends, I'm Carrie And this is my best dog Stormy Jane And we are trying to get our tiny little friend Pepe To eat some lunch but he's a little afraid. <laughs> Which reminds me of today's true story. Are you ready? <laughs> Stormy's ready. And hopefully Pepe will get ready because here we go. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Gideon. One day, God told Gideon to take his army and go battle the Midianite army. Oh no, this made Gideon afraid because the Midianites were a really big army. No, a really, really big army. I mean a really, really, really big army. That's better. And Gideon's army was small. No, a really, really small army. I mean a really, really, really small army. That looks right. Gideon didn't think he should be the one in charge of the army. Are you sure you want me to lead the army, God? Gideon wondered. But Gideon trusted God and did what God told him to do. Well, what happened next is pretty awesome. Gideon told each soldier to take a trumpet, a torch, and a jar and to follow him. They snuck into the camp and when Gideon told them to, they blew their trumpets and broke the jars and they shouted, for the Lord and for Gideon. Can you say that with me? Ready? For the Lord and for Gideon. Louder, for the Lord and for Gideon. <laughs> and just like that, the Midianites ran away. God's army had won. See, you're never too small to trust God. You can trust God and I can trust God. Hey there, Ollie. 
Ollie, tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Gideon trusted God, and so can you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Gideon trusted that God could use him to do something big, and he won the battle. And we can trust that God can use us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Gideon used jars to win the battle. I'm gonna use these jars to play a song for my friends. I can even tell them about Gideon. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Wasn't that a great story? Gideon trusted God even though he was scared and doubted that he should be the leader. God showed Gideon that he could use him no matter what. All he needed was for Gideon to trust him and obey. And you know what? That's a good thing for us to remember too. Okay, before we go, let's practice our memory verse together. Are you ready? I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. That was awesome, friends. Now, I'd love to pray together. I'm going to show you something called a breath prayer. First, we'll breathe in and say, when I am afraid, and then breathe out, help me to trust you. Are you ready to do it together? When I am afraid, help me to trust you. Great job, friends. That's all we have for you today. We can't wait to see you next time.